a, a very uh, interesting and um, challenging question. I think the point is that issues to do with racial discrimination are pervasive, they're not confined to any one country. And there's no doubt that in some instances in our press and so on, some issues receive a great deal more attention than others. Um, I've indicated that CERD can deal with urgent cases um, through the um, early warning and urgent action uh, procedure. Um, those issues which in many ways go to the root of problems in society um, would generally be dealt with under the CERD reporting procedure. Um, and the examples you've given uh, are from uh, the United States. I would simply advise people to consult the concluding observations on the United States, which are extremely extensive. Uh, and they cover uh, so many aspects of uh, the American scene, as it were. Um, they would, they are comprehensive, um, studied, I think. I think a lot depends upon how, if at all, the conclusions of the committee are mediated through to um, to the society in, 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 in question. And there's no doubt that in many cases the reception given by governments to uh, particularly scathing criticism, I suppose, of the committee can be uh, really quite harsh. Um, and the media are not always uh, friendly um, to the recommendations of CERT, especially if they're if the media is operating in a rather nationalistic spirit. I think we've seen this from time to time. So at the same time, there's no doubt that many states do treat the recommendations uh, very seriously and seek to make adjustments uh, to their uh, policy and practice, their legislation. The recommendations of CERDs are not, strictly speaking, uh, uh, legally binding, but nevertheless, they have uh, considerable authority. I think the main way in which they can influence uh, developments, even dramatic ones, is to remind governments as to what are the basic principles at stake. What are the, uh, what, it, what is uh, racial discrimination? What is hate speech? Um, what about the provision of remedies? What about um, self, uh, sorry, discrimination in relation to a wide variety of of rights and so on, and how to address uh, cases of discrimination, whether it's uh, direct or indirect, um, um, purposive uh, or not. So I think the main uh, contribution is to keep the flag flying, I think, and keep the standards of non-discrimination uh, very much alive, remind states of their obligations. Um, the committee can do um, little more than that, but it is generally very consistent on these matters and can continue to press governments over a long period to uh, make uh, important reforms so that they bring themselves up to the standards of the convention uh, area by area and with the, the view that overall then uh, the, the general position in society will be improved.